What's up everybody, George here from GP Lifestyle. In today's video guys, I'll be going over my top five best style tips for shorter men. Now before we get started, we gotta define how short we're actually talking. And now I'm gonna say any guy under five foot six, you're short. You're a manlet, but that's okay. I still love you and I'm still gonna help you out. And as always, gentlemen, there is a video summary with timestamps linked in the description. Be sure to watch till the end of the video where you can vote on which tip gave you the most value. Without further delay, let's jump right into it. Tip number one on this list should be a no brainer if you have any fashion experience whatsoever, and that is to wear boots. Now, obviously, if you're a guy and you're into fashion, you obviously are already wearing boots. But if you're a shorter man and you're not wearing any form of either, let's say a chuck a boot, Chelsea boot at all, you're missing out on an easy way to look taller. And we as guys know that a couple of extra inches can make all the difference. Now, what I love about boots, especially here, is right now there's so much variety out there that you're bound to find something that you like. I understand that we live in a sneaker heavy culture right now when it comes to fashion, but there's so many awesome varieties of boots out there. My favorite pick is obviously a Chelsea boot for its simple minimal design and you can get so much variety out of them. Like something like this black suede one, it's black, it's minimal, there's nothing too special about it, zipper at the back, this is very standard. But one thing when you're picking out boots is pay attention to how much heel you're actually getting. You don't want to overdo it where it looks like you're wearing like a stiletto, but you can go with something like this. This is like you're going to gain maybe an extra inch in height here wearing something like this. Or if you want something a little fancy like a tan Chelsea boot like this with the zippers on the side, I really like this, I wear this more during the spring, here you're actually getting a little bit bit more height about an inch and a half so this is also another great option or if you're really fancy and you like that little bit of more artistic a harness chelsea boot now this one is a little bit higher these are more uh they're more like a replica of the saint laurent ones that are like four thousand dollars but here you can see here that you're getting a whole lot of extra height and you throw this on with a fit you're not going to look like you're trying to look taller because you're going to match it with your fit tip number two on this list is with vertical prints now vertical prints are very simple it's lines that run up and down and they elongate your frame and i personally like these because it's a very subtle way and also it can add a little bit more variety in your wardrobe it can help you dress a bit more specifically for your height a couple of my favorites are like the pinstripe jargon that i have at the store which it'll be launched eventually once I can find a reliable supplier for these and not have them cancel on me every few weeks. But what these do is the black here, it also makes your frame look a lot longer, like what dark colors do, but the white pinstripe here emphasizes that even more to give your legs a long slender look what you want for a shorter man now for the upper body for me it's flannels and flannels you get a two for one combo if you're skinnier two flannels with that horizontal black stripe will actually make you look wider but the vertical black stripe as well will also elongate your torso as well but i don't recommend wearing horizontal print head to toe unless you're wearing like a black or navy blue pinstripe suit incorporating these into your wardrobe some way like a flannel as a layer or a pinstripe jogger as a base is an excellent way to look a bit taller and still do it very subtly tip number three on this list is to get your pants hemmed or tailored the problem is as a shorter man even for me i'm like five nine and it's still hard to find a good fitting pair of pants right off the rack whether it's jeans chinos trousers the problem is is that a lot of clothing that is made off the rack is made for guys that are like six one to six two I don't know why, but whatever. That's just the world we live in right now. now the reason why you want to get them handed is that you want to keep your proportions properly proportioned. I'm losing my mind here for some reason. And the great thing here is that they're very cheap and effective for like 10 bucks. Just getting that bottom hem so it fits you right is way more affordable than you going to look for like specialty stores where you can buy, let's say, a pair of jeans that are in like a 26 or 28 length when all the other stores have is like 32 all the way up to like 36. And this is just cheap and effective. And it's just a good overall practice for your fashion just to get the basics nice hemmed and ready to go. And it's a no brainer. Tip number four on this list is to avoid longer coats. Now, I know I just said that you want to go with a overcoat if you're wearing a boot, just in case if you like it. But if you're not, if you want to wear sneakers, you definitely want to avoid off the rack longer coats because they, again, are not designed for guys who are shorter. They are meant for guys who are really longer. Like if you take a look at this jacket, uh, sorry, this overcoat that I'm wearing, the one from Zara, the tan one, it's it's a lot longer and it's really an off the rack fit that is designed for guys something taller. For me, it barely makes it just past my knee, which I can get away with it. But again, if you're any shorter, it looks like you're wearing a nightgown. But if you go something like this, like the ones we're going to have in our store in the next few weeks, hopefully if I can get it 
up and running and have a reliable supply. Look how much shorter they used. Look at the same style, the overcoat, but look, it's not just that mid thigh. It's a greater alternative. And plus, I'm not gonna charge you like $300 for it. But if you still is not a good option, but you still want a longer coat experience, definitely something with a pea coat. It's excellent because it stops at like upper mid thigh. But even if that's like a little too much, let's say you wanna wear, let's say like a parka, definitely go with more of a bubble jacket where it's shorter. It'll keep your proportions aligned, but there are better options out there for when you want a longer coat like mine. And the fifth and final tip on this list is to find some short men's style inspiration. Now I can only do my part to give you very general tips on short men fashion and give you some outfits that really lay the foundation down. But if you really want to dress for your body type and dress for your height, you're going to have to do a little bit of research and find some short men fashion inspiration. Find an influencer, find a YouTube channel, find guys that are specific to your height and structure build skin tone as well. This is gonna help you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to your fashion because you can sort of picture yourself in their outfits and see how it'll look with somebody in your body. Yes, it does take a lot, a little bit of research. That's why I put it at the end because it does require a little bit more work other than these other simple visits, but I think it's a great place to start. And that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to vote in the upper right hand card that should be popping up on the screen right now. Which tip you found the most help. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel because on this channel, I help you become the best version of yourself by teaching you how to dress better, how to look better, and ultimately how to be better. Thank you guys so much for watching. There should be a pop-up with a playlist or a couple extra videos you should definitely check out. Check them out if you're interested and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.